Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the games. Yeah, hey, man, I'm sitting here in my Rebel in York hangar, and I am loving it. I'm chilling out. I thought it was relevant to this video because we're going to talk about the uh, economy in Star Citizen. And, you know, it's been kind of slow in the Star Citizen verse, and I thought, you know, this is a good time to talk about what I think uh, the economy in Star Citizen is going to be, you know, what it's going to entail, just talk real to everybody, because I've looked up uh, prior, let me get up here, because I'm sorry, I got to enjoy this, uh, I really have to enjoy this uh, uh, hangar here, because I've never been inside of it, and and special shout out to one of our community members, uh, Siloff, thanks bro, for letting me uh, check it out, and I think I'm going to get one, because you might be saying, geez Al, you're a pirate, what the hell are you doing in this hangar, well, I know a lot about trading, because I actually trade in real life. I know a lot about economics. I took an economics course. Uh, I know a lot about uh, market demand, and uh, I, I think it's pretty relevant to be inside of this sweet hangar. So while I'm in here, we're going to talk about the economy. Uh, also, you'll notice I'm able to walk. I got a game pad, which is cool. I'll be doing a review on. Uh, but let's talk about the economy. It's really an economy in a game is really hard to do. You know, most times it's done by the AI. Most times it's done by uh, the actual game developers. And they insert what they think the economy should be. And they, they force feed it down your throat. Ooh, let's, let's, go down, let's go down this elevator here real quick while I talk. Yeah, so... <laughs> now, I, I looked up a lot of, like, you know, videos on YouTube about what the economy is supposed to be. Jeez, oh, I gotta get one of these in Star Citizen, and I didn't see a lot. You know, in fact, the videos I saw were from like 2014, which is kind of discouraging because, as somebody who trades and dabbles in PvP, and you know, likes to do the trade gig in uh, Eve, if those of you are familiar with it, probably one of the best manufacturing science-oriented trading platforms in a game ever, and. From what I see, I, th I think that Star Citizen and the makers of it are going the same route, which I really hope they are. Let's, I want you guys to check out this video done uh, by Chris Roberts, one of the very few about the economy, and I hope they really start talking more about it. Or maybe I don't know what's out there, but I did look very hard. And if you guys know of any other econo uh, any type of economy videos with Star Citizen, let me know. But let's play that while I... Uh, show you more of this hangar here afterwards. The economy itself, uh, first of all, in Star Citizen is completely dynamic. So the player's actions are gonna be affecting the supply and demand and the prices. So a lot of the missions that are generated for players to take or even AI to go and do are created by the economy system itself. To give you an example, you know, if you have a weapons factory sitting on a planet and it requires three tons of metal alloy and one ton of high explosive and one ton of electronics to create 20 missiles in a game turn, that factory will create a mission uh, out on the mission boards which will have like in a system and that will propagate to other systems at sort of the speed of communication in the Star Citizen universe. And it will say, hey, you know, look, I need three tons of uh, steel alloy, one ton of high explosive, one ton of electronics, and uh, who wants to take them? And so in that case, a player could look at the mission board and go, oh, look, there's a mission to take three tons. Okay, I'll take it and fly in with the alloy. And if the player doesn't do it, an AI will take it and fly the stuff in. And along the way, if that player or the AI get attacked by a pirate and they don't make it through, then the goods aren't getting to the factory. The factory doesn't have the materials it needs to make the missiles, so it can't produce missiles that turn. Now, if people are buying missiles in that system, the inventory on the show floor will dwindle and they won't have any more missiles, which will mean the supply's low, so the, you know, the demand's high, prices will probably go up. Now, that factory will probably say, this pirate, I have a pirate problem on my, uh, you know, getting my raw materials, so it will create a mission with the Mercenaries Guild and says, I need you, or to go and clear out the pirates that are attacking this stuff, or I need you to be an escort ship escorting these allies in. So that creates missions for mercenaries there. So players' actions as a pirate or as a trader could affect what's happening in the economy. You know, the pirates could be strangling supply to planets or other people could be blockading it. And then if supplies aren't getting through, that planet will be creating missions to get supplies or get people to open the blockade. So basically the economy itself is generating a lot of the action and, and the missions are going on. And by the way, in that combat that you're having, like the pirate that is attacking the merchant ship, 
well, missiles are getting fired, ships are getting blown up. Well, that's demand on the economy side. So, you know, that means that more missiles will have to be replenished or a ship has to be replenished. So there's factory nodes on planets making the ships. These ships down here that you're looking at should be made by the players. Now, when he started talking about a factory on the planet, okay, I'm going to go over the video again and I am going to give you what I am seeing the game giving you as far as the economy is concerned in layman's terms because I, I, I speak layman. <laughs> So let's look at the video again, and these ships will be made by people or should be made by people. If they're not, I will be upset. These ships should be manufactured by pilots, okay? So let's go over this video again, and I'm going to tell you what I envision. You should be able to own this factory as a person. It should not be owned by SIG. It should be not an AI. You should own the factory. Okay. In turn, other people should also own stores where the missiles, in that example, could be sold. So you would you would need more money to buy a factory than you would need to say own a shop or rent a shop. You would have to create these missiles, and then you would have to create, uh, you know, you need supply to to for the demand. So this is what they're saying. Uh, we're going to help with supply by going out and accepting missions to get you these metals, to get you the raw metals that you need, which would would develop would be mining basically. You know, you'd you'd have to get the mining the miners to mine the the alloys, like in the Orion. Uh here they're showing, oh, there might be pirates, yar, 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 you lost them. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> right? So those materials didn't get there, but those materials still have to be mined by miners. So you're gonna need a mining class creating those raw materials. You're gonna need a manufacturing class that own the factories. You're gonna need a, 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 a market class or a trader class that's you know, hauling them around with the haul ships, you know, and, and you're gonna need uh, like the, the uh, merchants that, that sell them. And you know, you've got the player base basically flying around also. Uh, you have to pick a role. You, you, know, you, you don't always have to stick to that role. That's why I like this game, it's very diverse. But you're going to have to pick a, a, a certain type of role to fill in uh, the supply-demand chain. It, it, it is economics. There, there is the supply, and then there is the demand. And we are going to do it. Now, they're going to need some type of database where it can be very easy and simplistic for everybody to understand this. And, and that's where the rub is. You know, like you, We have to have enough people playing this to actually have an economy. We have to have enough people interested in owning a factory. That will be a challenge. There has to be enough people filling all the roles needed. You know, I think one of the things that the game is going to have an issue with, and, and I don't think it'll be that, that long before it gets filled, and I, I do believe that SIG will come in and help the economy very much the way that the, the Federal Reserve does for the United States, which is if there is a lack of supply or a lack of demand, they will kind of go, you know, there. here's a couple missiles we're going to sprinkle in because there's not enough missiles for everybody to play the game. <laughs> That's an issue. So, you know, like here, let's, let's supply them with, you know, X amount of missiles so that they have enough missiles until that uh, pilot, the pilot base gets big enough to fill the supply in. Well, you know, if there's not enough miners mining, uh, the materials needed to make the missiles, huge problem. <laughs> you know, we can't fly around and shoot missiles. And that's kind of stupid because, you know, if you think about it, and if I get into the game and I can't buy any missiles or I can't buy a certain type of gun or I can't buy a ship, you know, if I can't buy the damn ship because there's not people, there's not enough people making it or not enough people mining the materials to make it, then why am I going to play the game? So that is going to be a tightrope for them. They are literally going to have to be like the Federal Reserve is to the United States and supply the demand side and the uh, supply side. But the, the, the more, they're more so supply the supply side than they are the demand side because the demand is there. There's a lot of pilots right now. Uh, very interested in this game, as you can see. I, I see it in the, the YouTube videos that I do. I see it in the amount of views and the comments and the interest. Oh, God. I, I want this. This is so nice for a pirate to just kind of chill out in the lavish lifestyle. Uh, 
but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get this all dirty. Yeah, get it dirty. Get it dirty. I'm on your couch. I'm on your couch. <laughs> I'm Rick James. Sorry, the older reference. So uh, this is cool over here. Check this out. There's the models here. Silov, you are quite the collector. I'm pretty cool, man. Dig that. So, all in all, the economy has to be a thriving economy for the game to be successful. And and for the game to be successful, there has to be enough players, enough pilots, to fill the role of what is needed. There has to be enough miners, there has to be enough traders, and there has to be enough manufacturers. Uh, a, an element that I think is missing right now is the science aspect to it you know developing evolving the chain of items that are already being made i think it would be very cool to have variations of ships you know where you have these ships down here and then say like for the m50 for instance say you can actually make it faster or slower now it looks like when you go into the statistics in the slots like in the other videos that i do where i'm doing these ship reviews we got the additional slots that is where like upgraded uh, components that is technology evolved can go into that could be from a science base and as a person that owns a corporation or an organization or a guild in the game uh the demand would be there for scientists to create something uh that is cooler like tech that would be uh techier <laughs> that would be able to i'd have an edge over another corporation or over, over another organization and therefore could employ the scientists and pay them uh mucho dinero in order to have like an, a souped up avenger you know that that would actually be able to deal with uh any other type of ship better than the rest so the science is missing i think from i have limited uh knowledge on what they're doing in regards to that if anything um but i think that would be something that they need to think about the trading would be cool so like if we take everything from inception uh from the basic core elements of uh you know from start to finish okay you have me the pilot okay okay i'm a miner i want a mining ship now Where's the mining ships? Uh, okay, right now I can buy them through pledges on the site, but when I get in the game, eventually SIG is going to want to ease back if they want to make this a real economy and stop making them for everybody and have us make them. So I'm a miner. I need a ship. Well, a friend of mine is a manufacturer. He owns a factory. Okay? He needs my materials. Okay? I buy the ship originally, the Orion. I did a donation. I bought the uh, Orion, and I start mining for him and i start giving these materials to him he buys a factory on the planet and he starts producing uh more mining ships different types of ships and therefore then he needs uh these materials from me as a miner so i'm employed now now he's employed because he's selling it to merchants he's selling it to merchants or to people directly as a business as a manufacturer so Somebody, there will be another pilot that I have as a friend who who owns a large storefront who would like to uh, buy these materials from the manufacturer to make the ship or to make the materials and, and display it in a area very similar to a hangar like this where other people would be able to have access to and able to see it hands on or able to be able to access like a panel like this in the game and go boop, 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 and say, here's my favorite manufacturer. I wanna buy an item, very cool, I will buy this, and then it gets delivered to my own personal hanger, so you could have it via a panel, or you could have it via, you know, hands-on. I think it would be cool if people could actually go inside their own factories, but that is a huge undertaking. So most likely it's gonna be through a panel like this, uh, I, as a manufacturer, if I were the manufacturer, would have like a manufacturing plant that maybe I could see or maybe I couldn't. Maybe it would be all through a panel like this and everything's going to be hangar related. I don't know. But the point of the economy or the talk that we're having right now is that the manufacturer then needs to sell it. So you have the miner to the manufacturer, the manufacturer to the merchants or to the end user. And then you have the merchants to the end user. So as a merchant, I own the store. I'm buying them from the manufacturer, the finished goods, 
And obviously, as a, as a merchant, I am not buying the raw goods, so the merchant really isn't buying anything from the miner at all. The manufacturers are buying stuff from the miners, the merchants are buying stuff from the manufacturers, and the pilots all in all are buying stuff from the merchants. Or if they know a trader, or if they know a uh, manufacturer directly, maybe they're just buying it wholesale through them. So th very cool, very very realistic into to real economy. That is how it works. and. Uh, that is a huge hole that needs filled up by pilots. So there, there is an actual demand needed for pilots to fill those roles, very much so as there is a demand for people who need these items in the game. There's also a demand that the game needs these types of people, us, to fill those roles. Now, as a trader, you can't just say, hey, I'm a trader. I'm going to pick up item A and deliver it to you know, from point A to point B, and that makes me a trader. That's more of a hauler. That's more of a, a, of a trucker. Uh, a, a trader actually takes items, manipulates pricing, and uh, you, you have a trader class that, you know, goes around and maybe they're buying the goods from the miners, and, and you know, maybe the miners don't want to deal with the manufacturer directly. Maybe the miners just found somebody who, you know, wants to buy everything directly from him and is an individual pilot. Like, I'm a trader. I come in, I say, hey, Olaf, uh, great to see you. I like your mining operation. I would like to buy 20 titanium units from you on the regular every week and and you know if that's not enough the miners gonna say that's not enough I'm already selling a hundred of these units to a manufacturer so now I'm a bigger trader and I say hey Olaf I want to buy a thousand units from you every day now all of a sudden I got the miners interest and maybe I'll get a special price and now I as a trader can take these items and then sell them to a manufacturer uh, for some profit and the manufacturer is grateful because maybe uh, he needs them in a rush and he needs an order filled for one of his customers. So this is all very player versus player driven. This is all very real economy, market, and demand. And this is what the game needs. That is a huge undertaking for any game. That's really a big undertaking. And in order for this to go seamlessly, in order for the game to be successful, what SIG has to do is they actually are going to have to prop up the market with uh, supply, with, with you know a, a very, very... Uh, open eyes they're gonna really have to, to do have somebody dedicated to this in order for this to be seamless because if there is any lack of the supply then the people who are giving the demand are gonna be very upset with the game so I hope I've explained it uh, you know enough for you the only thing that I think is left that needs to be talked about is jumping off this ledge no just to <laughs> The only thing that I think is, you know, needs to be talked about is the interface. You know, they're going to need a very fluent interface. And I would highly recommend they use a very similar interface to what Eve is using now. Now, I, I, I hate people that just instantly go, oh, you think Eve is better than blah, 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 blah. This is not about that. This is, this is about a, a discussion about an economy uh, and making an economy successful, successful and, and, Eve has done it, so I would highly recommend they do something very similar. It is a very easy to use um, user interface, and I highly recommend they do something very similar to it. So those people at SIG, please watch this video because there's not any other economy video out now on YouTube where anybody's talking about this. <laughs> I think I am the first person here talking about the economy in such a way that it's actually relevant and making sense to the game because I understand it because I do it in real life so let the developers please get listen to this please send this to the developers please share this if you're interested in the economy some of you are probably bored to tears right now or or haven't even bothered watching up to this point because it's not interesting to you well you know what it should be interesting because these people that talk like this are the same people that give you a reason to play the game. We give you the items, you know. Now, of course, I like to, to yard up a little bit, and uh, who doesn't? Who doesn't like to yard up? <laughs> but on the other end of it, I want to make money. I want to make money in the game because I will actually be able... What is that noise? Hmm? What is that? Oh, that's cool. 
Look at this giant blue screen. <laughs> You're mine. This entire blue screen. Okay, all right, everybody. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. And Silov, thank you for being an awesome member of the community. I really appreciate uh, all that you guys do. Share the videos, guys. And, um, you know, keep it real like, like we always do. Oh, there's something to drink over here? How could I even miss that? Oh, oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa, man, yeah. Whoa. Hey, can I drink some more? I'm Irish. All right. No, I'm not endorsing this. I'm really not endorsing this. Oh, what? Where's this? Whoa, yeah. Oh, now let's talk about the economy, man. Whoa, yeah. Woo. Okay, everybody. I think it's time to go. All right, guys. See you later. Peace out. Yeah. Crimson and clover. Over and over. Crimson and clover. <laughs> Thanks for watching.